Hi there, welcome to my tutorial on underwater shaders and effects in Unity. I'll show you how to create a breathtaking underwater scene using shading techniques and post-processing. Whether you're new to Unity or have some experience, this tutorial is for you. Let's get started. First, let's revisit the water surface shader we created earlier. You may have noticed that when we move the camera below the water surface, it disappears from view. This is because we haven't enabled the two-sided option. By doing so, you'll be able to see the water surface even when viewed from below. Next, we can use the as front face node with the branch node to determine the front and back face of our object in shader graph. I think the shader for the back side doesn't need to be as complex as the front side, so I'll just connect the result from the underwater group to the back side shader. Press the save acid button, let's take a look at the result. The brightness seems a bit too high, we can fix this by reducing the smoothness value. However, the front side shader needs to use the smoothness value, so we'll create another branch node to address this issue. Looks good so far. I think we've finished the back face shader. It's time to move on to the next part. Next, we're going to use a cool feature in Unity URP. You should be able to see a file called Forward Renderer in the Settings folder of your project. If you can't find it, don't worry. You can also access it by going to Edit, then Project Settings, clicking on Graphics and clicking on your URP settings. Click on the option Renderer list and you will find it. Click on the file and you will see some settings appear in the Inspector window. You may not be clear on what this function does, but don't worry, I'll do a simple demonstration to show you how it works. Press Add Renderer feature and select Render Objects. After that, you'll see the settings available for use below. Let's change the layer mask to everything and then check the camera option below. When we move the Y value, you will notice that Unity has duplicated all the objects in our scene, and we can also control these objects. But what's even cooler is that we can also specify the material for these objects. All you have to do is choose your material here, and we can use this feature to create some interesting underwater effects. Now, uncheck the camera option because we won't be using it this time. We can also change the layer mask to a specific layer. I'll choose only the ground layer, so Unity will only draw objects in the ground layer. Then, we can modify the name here to avoid confusion with other effects. Next, we are going to create a shader to generate the effect of caustics. However, make sure to choose unlit shader because we don't want it to be affected by the light. After creating it, right-click on the shader and create a material. Once created, don't forget to go back to Renderer feature and select the material that we created. Okay, next, double-click on the caustics shader to open the shader graph. We will start connecting nodes. First, let's create a color variable so that we can control the color from the outside. By the way, don't forget to change the render mode to transparent, which will reveal the alpha channel for us to use. To simulate the caustics effect, we can use a Voronoi node to achieve it. Next, let's add a few variables so that we can control the animation of the Voronoi. Create a float variable called Voronoi Speed, and multiply it with time and connect it to the angle offset. Then you'll see the black dots in the Voronoi node start moving. Create another variable to control its size. Oops, I forgot to add a power node after the output, adding it will make the result look better. Okay, let's see how it turns out. It looks a little strange. We need to fix their UV coordinates. Let's see how to fix it. Actually, it's very simple. Every vertex of each model in the scene has its world position. We can use the X and Z values of this position as the UV coordinates for the Voronoi node. We need to adjusting the size. It looks much better now. Now, let's control the position of the caustic's appearance. 
I'd like it to only show up in the shallow water areas, which we can determine by the height of the vertices. We'll use smooth step to return a value between 0 and 1. If the vertex is below our high value, it will return 1. And if it's above, it will return 0. Let's also set a low point. looks good. Now, by multiplying these two values, we'll get a result like this. Let's create an alpha float value to control the transparency. Multiply this with our Voronoi node. Now, we've completed the caustics effect. Let's make some adjustments to have it appear only in shallow water areas. Next, I think adding a fade effect will make it look more like the ocean floor. So let's create this effect. The setup steps are the same as before, so I'll skip ahead. Next, we need to set the height at which this effect appears, but this time we don't need to set a minimum. Adjust the values until you're satisfied. Then create a float. We'll use it to control the distance the effect appears. Add a scene depth node and set the sampler to I, and multiply it by the value we just created. Next, we need to add a clamp node after the multiplication result to keep the values between 0 and 1. Then, we multiply the result with our height value. After pressing save, let's take a look at the result. We'll make some minor adjustments to the distance and select a color. It looks like we have completed the underwater fade effect. Finally, let's add some post-processing effects. First, we copy the water surface, then paste it. Delete some component we don't need to use. Adjust the height of the box collider and don't forget to check the as trigger option. Add a component called volume and change the mode to local. Add some effects you like, then when our camera moves into the box, these effects will be applied. That's it for this tutorial on underwater shading and effects in Unity. I hope you found this video to be informative and helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to share them with me in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials on Unity and game development. See you!